Whoa, what's happening? That's different. 256 years ago. This forest we are stationed in. It is hot, humid, unhygienic, a punishing hell for machine life forms. None should have to live in such a place. I have decided I shall make this our kingdom and declare our independence. Huh. That's not what that is, but okay. If the big robot is king, why was the king a baby? That then got shish kebobbed by that one A2 girl. I'd like to know more about her, too, if I'm being entirely honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do, and, you know, I, I highly appreciate further context on the Forest Kingdom. I am left to ponder what exactly triggered that, though. That seemed a little bit machines. random. They were talking about a king, right? Sure were. We saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. And so we shall. And if anything interesting happens before we run into A2 again, you best believe you'll be seeing it. Uh, hello there. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? A moose I have been caring for has fallen ill. Yeah, I noticed he seems to be in a bit of a dire strait. I do not know how to repair it. You don't repair animals like you do a machine, you silly billy! But if it's sick, you should try giving it some medicine. Medicine? I am not familiar with this concept, I am Rubbit! Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't be. It'll probably be easiest to just bring you some. Try to hang on until then, alright? Where in the heck and heck do I go to get medicine? Where would I even go to accomplish something like that? Does the game want to tell me where- oh, okay, I guess it will- also, apparently there is a there's another quest over there too, so I guess it's a it's a bit of a two birds with one stone type situation. I I I could probably I could probably do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go do that then. I, I'll help a moose. So moose. That's now. That's new. I assume you have at least some idea where to start looking for animal medication. We'll probably need to recreate old human recipes. We should be able to find something in the commercial facility ruins. Good as guess as any, I suppose. I'll go see what I can do. Okay. I am back. Although I am not exactly certain where I am expected to find medicine. I found a crystal on the floor. That's always pretty cool. But I don't think I can put that in a moose. Or, rather, I, I suppose it would just be ill-advised to put it in a moose. You know, I, oh, well, here's something else. Analysis. That is a form of sustenance known as extreme weight loss superfood. I really feel like we shouldn't give that to a moose. Humans consumed it in a place of more traditional edibles in order to reduce body mass. Why would they want to do that? Humans often took in more energy than they expended. Accumulated calories were converted to fat and stored, decreasing physical capabilities. Man, humans had it rough. <laughs> In some ways, yes. In some ways, yes. Not everything that was wrong with humanity was explicitly humanity's fault. Sometimes basic-ass biology proved to be a bit of a hindrance. Unfortunate. Oh, hey, something I can open up. Alright, I'll open something up. Let's... Give me old something something right there. And give me your contents. Also be something good. A full recovery. Alright, I yeah, know that is actually pretty good. That is acceptable. Alright, what about you, shiny object in the corner? What's this all about? 
Pod, what's this? Analysis. It is a writing implement. Humans used it to record information. Many humans also believed pens were mightier than swords. These people were called dumb. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But they're going to interpret it that way. That's insane. It was a common human idiom. Meaning unclear. <laughs> oh, these poor, poor androids. They're trying so hard to understand the things that don't make instant sense. Oh, well, it'd be how it'd be. All right, so... Uh... Once again, though, I mean, I found a dietary supplement and a pen. Neither of those things are going to help out a moose. I mean, I guess it's not necessarily a pen. I guess it could have been a pencil. Maybe even a Sharpie. Who's to say? Oh, a medical journal. Organic pharma... Uh, pharma... Solic? What? I was going to say pharmaceutical, but that's not how you... Pharmacology? Textbook? Maybe? The data contained within should prove effective for ungulates such as moose. Page 278 contains a recipe for an anti-inflammation analgesic, which has a high probability of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. We haven't even cracked this thing open yet. How do you know what's in it? I have powers! Do not question the Book of Weiss. The contents of this book are contained in my internal database. What? Why didn't you tell us that when we first started looking for it? A request for information was not submitted. To be fair, they have a point. Well, this has been a glorious waste of time. Let's just make the medicine and get it back to that machine. All right. How do I do that? Do you want me to just... Do, do you want me to just go back? Like, immediately? Oh, I guess so. I guess that is what you want me to do. All right, well, before I go and do... Ah, whoa. I fell through. Before I uh, go and do that, there's supposedly another side quest. Somewhere within the depths of this whole ass mall. And, uh, well, I sure would like to be able to do all of them, if I can. Assuming they aren't permanently failable. I swear, they better give me another chance to do that. I'm gonna be very cross. I'm gonna be a very upset lad if I can't. <laughs> All right, so that's obviously not going to work. Uh, hum, 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 hum. Let's see. Is there truly not another way up? Is that the only way up? That is so peculiar. Then how am I meant to get to thing? Oh. Uh oh, it's not in the mall. It's down in that big old hole. I should probably go investigate that big old hole then. Hmm. Not great, but it needs to be done. Uh, so you want me to? What down there? It doesn't look like there's ground down there. That sounds like an all-in-all -all terrible idea. Hmm. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yes. Hmm, yes. It is down, down, down. Uh, okay. Let's just go ahead and see if there's... Anything we can actually land on down here. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't think it could go down here. That's crazy. And now we got a bunch of ne'er-do-wells. All right, hang on. Take this, underground dwelling demon spawn! Once my hacking protocols start activating, there we go. Took a little while, but we got there. When will the music return? Uh, okay. Oh, and you know what? Sure, subjugate. Maybe that'll help us actually take care of the rest of them. Ah, up, up, uh. All right, you, you, you're more than welcome to start attacking whenever you like. All right. He's just kind of standing around, not doing much of anything in particular. All right, I am really trying to hit any of them, please? Thank you. Christ. I kept hitting the lock on button and nothing was happening. It was very weird. All right, come on. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right. And the big explosion. Oh, you thought. You thought you'd get the better of me, but then you were wrong. Uh, all right. I gotta be getting real close to a level up at this point. I mean, come on up in here. Why are you not helping? The entire point of subjugation was to make you fight your, 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 your former allies in my stead. It wasn't so you could just have a little hangout session with me. That was not the goal. 
Ain't nobody here for that. All right, well, at least 2B is going absolutely crazy. She's going absolute ham. She understood the mission assignment, unlike some people. Good lord. All right, so, well, now that I'm all the way ding-dang down here, let's go ahead and try and go in the right direction. All right, I am way down, but I need to keep going that way. That's what I need to do. All right. Then you best believe that's what we're gonna do, and what in God's name is that? What is that? Okay, I'm. They, they look like your your usual standard shield bots, but they seem to be like turbocharged with some sort of horrifying electro power or whatever. All the more reason to not engage in direct combat and instead just make their brains turn into pudding. Take that, y'all! Put in the head! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that was... All right, you, you, you managed to do a whole ass loop-de-loop -loop around me, but it didn't do much for you. Unfortunate. Unfortunate! Okay, uh, let's see here. Ah, oh, well, this could be a fine problem. It appears that maybe, just maybe, I was supposed to get here from over there instead. And jumping down here was a waste of time. I see. I see. I see. All right. Uh, how upset about that I will be depends entirely on how hard it is to get back up. This, this looks like an elevator. How long has there been an elevator? You know, you don't have to follow us, all right? You can just, you can just stay there. Yeah, okay. Oh, God, he's still with us. Okay, 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 all right. Okay, sure, I guess. All right, now I am here. I'll just slowly and methodically climb our way up all of these rocks. Oh, all right, I, it wasn't too difficult to get myself back up. So, not, not that big a problem. Uh, then I guess I just need to get to the other side and then jump down the giant ravine is what I need to do. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Not sure about this one. Okay. <laughs> I did not know how to feel about that. All right, fine. Um, I'm going to go find that quest. Alrighty, I see a waterfall, and I... How are we supposed to reach that castle? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Uh <laughs> Alright, well. If I am meant to jump down there, that is clearly not the method in which I was supposed to. Alright, let's... Maybe instead, fall with a little bit more forethought. There you go, see now I am down here. There we are! We'll just gently float our way all the way down, like so. And there we are. There's the nerd. And hey, so now I could go back. That's that's really annoying. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so technically a shortcut. Neat. So what do you want? Oh, you're androids, yes? Then you must be here to kill me. I've lived long enough. I only ask that you not make it too painful. Uh, I mean, that depends. Do you want to die? Why do you not strike? Because you have no desire to fight. You're li uh, like the machines in Pascal's village. If you don't attempt to harm us, we have no cause for quarrel. You know Pascal? I see. Still, you should be careful. Of what? Some of our kind can be violent. They are beyond our control. They attack everything they see, be it friend or foe. Many of these machines are waiting in the canyon ahead. It would be wise to keep your distance. Uh. Machines attacking indiscriminately. Proposal. Unit 2B should eliminate the hostile machines. I mean, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Where exactly? I see. Oh, further along in the... Oh, wow. Well, well, what do you know? <laughs> this was all part of one large concurrent thing, and I just ended up going in the perfect wrong direction. Hmm. Okay, then. Fair enough. Oh, well, these things happen. At least there's an elevator right over there when we're done. Let's go beat up some hostile robots and see what's all up. All right. 
Like why 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 are you guys so corpses? Confrontational. Is this some kind of graveyard? I don't know. Either that or they're just a lot of very clumsy machines. That's totally possible. Anyway, hello. How are you? Oh, oh, they were all taking a nap apparently. They sure are. All right, hang on, hang on. I'm hacking. I'm hacking and attacking. Ow. All right, you don't gotta be like that though, you see. You can just let yourself go away. Also leveled up, we're at like 46 now, so. Feeling good about that. Feeling real, real good about that. Also, unless something interesting goes down, this doesn't seem like a particularly difficult mission. Seems to just kind of be, just go there and fight some very basic enemies. I was expecting at least something visually unique to be, you know, Im challenging me. But the quest is not over yet, so who's to say? Who's to say? And pew, 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 pew. There you go. More explosions. Whoop. And 2B coming in with the assist. And, eh, there we are. All right. A couple of stab -a stabs. There's more. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I see, I see, I see. You, 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 you want to kill everything, and you know what? That's, that's that, that's just your, you know, that's that's your style. That's your thing. That's what you want to do with yourself, and that's that's interesting. I'm gonna have to request that you you knock that mess off, though, if at all possible. So I, I'm gonna just partially blow up your face like this. What's it saying? Don't listen to it, Toopy. Oh, wait. Uh. Whoa! Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I, it looked like you weren't attacking me, and I wanted to maybe investigate why you were asking me to kill you, but, um... Okay, I, I, I guess I'll do that, then. If, if that's what I gotta do, then that's what I'll do. Uh, farewell, I suppose. What was with that thing? It was talking. Maybe that machine who sent us here knows something about this. I'm we ready. Asking her. I'm ready for the very dark backstory that this inevitably is going to end up having for whatever reason. I didn't even realize an android was down here. All right, well, it's always nice to be able to find one of them sounds, you know. It's and not in the sense that oh, uh, I, I'm glad to see them dead. No, of course not. I mean, in, in the sense that I'm I'm glad that I found their corpse and they don't just have to you know, lay there, in in in, in a ditch for the rest of their you know non-life. It, it, it's it's something so terribly undignified about that you know. The least I can do is identify them, you know, take them away from this particular location. It's better. At least I think it is. All right, so hey, yeah, was that even a bad guy? Are are you bad? Did you make me kill somebody I wasn't supposed to? What, what, what is the whole thing? What what is the tragic twist? Oh, it's you again. We have a question about the machines in the canyon. Yeah, it's very dangerous. You should avoid them. Actually, we already took care of them. Y you what? I see. Now then, perhaps you can finally reach heaven. Come again. Many machines have thrown themselves into that canyon of late. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. All right. They were trying to hurt themselves beyond repair. You found the remains of those who succeeded and fought those who did not. I know not what would drive them to do such a thing, but I pray regardless that their souls might reach heaven. Here, a gift for you. Thank you for killing them. You're... well... come? I guess? Uh... I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a step away for just a little bit. Just to see if they were gonna say anything else about this. All right, looks like looks like that's not the case. It's just sad and messed up. All right, so what exactly are you selling? It's you, is it? Thanks to your efforts, I can live here in peace once more. If you like, I can fuse plug-in chips for you. Oh well, you don't say. What is fusing plug-in chips? So like, I just okay, weapon attack up and another weapon attack up, and and now it's a weapon attack up plus one, I guess. Okay, so yeah, basically you can fuse dupes together to make upgraded versions. So if you only have one, then you can't do it again. All right, that's interesting. That's interesting. So I combine these two, and then what? It's last stand plus one. Okay, yep. 
Alright, makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Uh, so, I guess... I have Deadly Heal uh, equipped, so what I, I, I... Theoretically, I can fuse two Deadly Heals together to get another Deadly Heal plus one. Then, da -da 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 -da, like that, and now I've got Deadly Heal to recover 30% of HP for every enemy defeated. That seems a little busted, if I'm being honest, in large groups. I'm more than okay with that, though. Actually, hang on a second. There's another thing I want to check here. Hang on. This auto-heal, auto-heal, auto-heal. Let's see. There's movement speed. Auto-heal. After six seconds, 1.2. I'm currently getting 0 0.6 HP recovered per go of it. Okay, so I can fuse these together. And then, if I equip this, 2.4. All right, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fuse those together. 3.6 HP per second. That is crazy. Or I can do it even again. 4.8 HP per second. Those have got to, like... Surely, they, they must take up so much space in my in my plug-in chip area like, that they, they got to be impractical in that sense. Like... Like, surely that must be the case. Because otherwise, I mean, if I could attach both of those things to me, like, I, I basically unto that of a god. Are, are I not? All right, let's see here. So, these are attack or defense? These are, yeah, I don't have any attacks whatsoever because I'm, I'm 9S and that would be pointless. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, that's deadly heal normal. All right, I'm going to remove deadly heal and auto heal. And you know what? Let's go ahead. Why is this melee? Hmm. This melee defense must is better because it takes up less space, but does the same. Fascinating. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this as well, and this too. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to this unless I have to get rid of it. I'm assuming that these things are going to take up like so much space. Let's see. Deadly heal. But the diamond makes it so. Oh. Oh, I see. Recover 50% of all damage dealt. Uh, dead, okay. Um, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> uh, auto heal plus four. Oh, I, f I, I, I dare say I just might be slightly immortal at this point. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness! Alright. I could get rid of those hacking things and give myself so much more HP. That is fascinating. Okay, well, we can settle for this. Yes. Let us settle for that. Yes, there we are. Okay. Alright. Now, we'll just stand perfectly still. One, two, three, four. Whoa! Wow, that heals you up real good. And as long as I'm taking care of enemies at the same time... I feel like what I've currently got set up here is a little overkill in Souls regards of healing. Heaven, huh? Oh, now they're talking. Those things exist? They'll find out in the end. That... And so will we. Okay, that's grim. <laughs> it is, but she's not wrong! We have absolutely no idea what happens in the hereafter. Maybe it's just a pure black void. Do we return to the exact same void that it, that we were in before we were born, or is there more? Oh, everybody's got their theories, but at the end of the day, all of them are theories because we have no concrete evidence one way or the other. I say, believe whatever you want to believe that gives you the most comfort. That's uh, that's all I can really do. Alright, I am now going to attempt to return to the moose. And you know what? Alright, just in case just in case I end up forgetting. I put on this hat just for the sake of staving off the insanity of being inside that desert. Uh, but what if I were to remove it now? I if I end up beating this thing, you know, this this little campaign thing here, and without removing it, I feel like I'm going to have to end up spending a bunch of other parts of this game with 9S permanently stuck inside that thing. And I don't really want to do that to him. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, farewell, world! Ow. That hurt a lot. Well, 
Good thing I can heal up so good! <laughs> I'm gonna get to the boost now. Uh, theoretically I have medicine, I guess? Medicine! Thank you, I will administer it immediately. Just throws it on the moose's head. And get better! The medicine seems to have worked. She is sleeping soundly. Good to hear. Animals are strange creatures. Unlike us, they cannot be easily repaired. It must be difficult to possess such inconvenient bodies. Boy, is it ever! However, unlike us, they are also warm. So I've heard. Before I forget, please take this as payment for the medicine. Yay, stuff. Wait, why did you give me beast hoods? Why do you have beast hoods? Come again, we will be waiting. Alright, that's mildly concerning. I choose to not think on it too hard. And instead, I'm gonna head towards that castle. And unless something else happens before we get to A2, you'll probably see me fighting A2 in about half a second. Oh! hey -oh, Something's going down! Another remembrance of the past. More context for the Machine Kingdom? 128 years ago. His Majesty. He's dead. Oh. The king who gave all for us. So benevolent and kind. And now he's dead. This sure is sad. It sure is. Indeed. Okay, so that raises a few questions from me. Um, how exactly do the machines designate their ages? Because we've seen, quote-unquote, machine children and machine adults, but I don't think that has anything to do with their actual physical age. And this is kind of the, the confirmation of that, because if the child king was still a baby 128 years ago, either by machine standards, they age extraordinarily slowly, which I guess is totally possible, or it's just permanently a baby at all times, in which case it's kind of a, a, a fool's errand to try and raise them because they're never going to become old enough to act as your king. They are permanently forever designed to exclusively be baby. So, ha, ah, yeah, this uh, kind of seems like another one of those instances, one of, one of the many instances so far of machines trying to replicate human societal behavior and, 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 and cultures, but not entirely understanding how it works. Oh, okay, wow, you just kind of stepped on my damn head. You kinda just stepped on my whole ass head, you went and gone done did. I don't see why you had to be like that. This seems entirely unnecessary. Alright. I have absolutely no desire to fight your king. This also makes the fact that A2 stabs the baby and turns it into a shish kebab ever so slightly darker than it already was. I mean, the first time we saw the baby, it was dead. So, you know, it wasn't too terribly... I mean, it was still dark, but I mean, you know, it was, a, you know, there was a there was a degree of separation there that didn't make it as horrible. This uh, this little extra context does not help with that. Of course, this uh, I guess something else it does is also make me even more deeply fascinated by A2, and I want to know what her deal is. 
I can only assume, considering the fact that her the hair dyes that 2B can equip can also be used by her, that sometime after I'm done playing as 9S, I'll be playing as her. And I'm very fascinated about that, because unlike playing as 9S, I imagine the entire campaign will be different instead of ever so slightly divergent as, as 9S has been from 2B. This I am very interested in. I also think that maybe playing as A2 would involve not having a pod. Cause I don't, I, 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 cause she's a deserter, right? And I don't think that would, they would have a pod. This looks like a king's castle, all right. Tis fascinating. All right then. Well, uh, unless I see another flashback, I'm gonna go ahead and tear my way through the royal guards. Unfortunately, not by choice, mind you. They don't give me many options. Oh, hello. More flashbacks. Give me all of that kind of somber context, why don't you? Four hours ago? Uh-oh. Why is... Okay, so they're bringing it up. Cool, cool. Why is still baby? Why still baby? Wow. Was not a, was not expecting self-deprecating robots. Yeah, so tiny and cute. We better keep him safe. Right. Can't let anyone into the forest kingdom. To danger. I'd once again like to point out that I had absolutely no desire to engage in combat at any point and have been more than willing to stop fighting at any given moment. They are just not giving me that ability. They're they're, they're kind of just mindlessly trying to, to murder me and uh, I, I'm, I'm mostly defending myself here. Uh, up, 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 up. How about none of that? I'm actually starting to think that... Um, Auto heal is entirely pointless. I, I I I like I really do think that it might actually be overkill, considering the fact that with uh you know damage absorb uh, or whatever it was where I where I where I heal on hitting with this I get like pew, 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 three 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 like I just heal up almost immediately. I some experimentation is definitely in order to figure out the best sequence of stuff, but um I I am intrigued and amazed. That, it, that this has worked out as well as it has. Anyway, are we not just, like... Yeah, we should be, like, really friggin' close anyway, so... Hang on. Hang on. Ow, hate, hate these things. Hate these things so much. Hate these things. I hate them. 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 I want them dead. All right, you know what? Screw it. You're not, you're not making hacking you easy, so I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother. But seriously, look at that. Just heal it up. The second battle is over. You're just good. Healing items are almost entirely un unnecessary at this point. Which is kind of crazy. As long as I can dodge decently enough. You know, or rather, I don't get hit into a, a big old combo. Still don't want to fight you. Well, I don't want to kill your king. Granted, some other lady does want to kill your king, and she's about to drop down from the rafters and turn him into a shish kebab. So you might want to actually head back inside the the place where you're keeping the baby, because because you know that's that that's where things are going down. Let the record show that I take absolutely no joy in the eradication of the people of this kingdom. This was never the goal. Definitely did not need or want any of this in my life, but. Tis ultimately our never-ending fate, it would seem. Very dark. Very sad. You almost got me there. Ow. Oh, see, that time you did get me. All right, there you go. Well played. Well played. And pop. There you go. Like a bubble in your brain. A bubble in your bloodstream. Ooh, that's unfortunate. 
And I'm just gonna... Whoa! Alright, well, I was trying to hold back on the whole hacking thing for at least a little bit there. Game said, nah, you're gonna have to start doing more damage much more quickly. I am curious how this, um, you know, health on damage thing would work while playing as someone like 2B. Or, I again, assume A2. I'm curious. The A2 girl seems to fight the same way the 2B does, but maybe faster, more aggressively? I'm not entirely sure how that's going to be. Regardless, just keep on blowing everything up. Alright. I suppose I could have cut the most of this fight out, but I don't know. I don't really like the idea that I've been cutting out as much as I have. It just, you know, it's it's striking that balance between contextual information and skipping past things we've already seen, done, and experienced, you know? Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up all this stuff. I found a leg. I found a whole ass leg. That is unfortunate. All right, let's see if hacking A2 does anything. It might. I'm also curious about what might happen if I don't actually attack her. Because last time, I was definitely the, the, the first one to, to take a swing at him. Is this their king? Maybe. <laughs> Stabbed, baby. Why you do this? To be, that's an android. It do be a type android. Alert! This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Baby stabbing. To be. <laughs> Can we maybe get I don't know a little bit more information out of you? Before we fight. Over to 2B and 9S. Hi. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. You sure did. What you see in front of you is your enemy. Okay. <laughs> but she's... She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before she kills you. Can we... Maybe... Talk? Just ah, ah, to be okay. Well, that one wasn't on me at least for the tiny, insignificant amount that's worth. I was not responsible for that one. God damn. Okay, <laughs> I was more than willing to have a discussion there. Oh boy. Okay, girl went in swinging. All right, fair enough, I guess. And I'm just gonna cause a little bit of a brain blast up in here. There you go, there you go. This fight is significantly easier than the last time I did it. You're you're basically already almost defeated. How about that? How about that? Oh boy. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Let's all let's all settle down a little bit. Somehow I didn't get hit in the middle of all that. Very strange. All right. Uh do you want to stop fighting now? Yes. Yes, you do. Which is good cuz you're on fire. Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. Still very curious about what that means. Let's go after her, 2B. I don't even necessarily think that she's lying. I really don't. Command has been extraordinarily sketchy. Let's not even pretend. Ow, my legs! Damn. She got away. Somehow. Girl is fast. Operator, this is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm I sorry. demand information! We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. Is you it though? probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why do they two desert the force? I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. Everything is classified yeah. always. Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Oh. Whether in wind or rain, thunder or snow, or even a 
amidst the rising flames of war. They were always together. They never understood why. And yet they spent their lives nestled together. Forever. Forever and ever. Hmm. Right. Um, Pascal? This is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yes. Yeah, we're, fine. we're all very happy. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. Alright. Well, if I remember correctly, and I might not, I'll be real, um... I want to go ahead and say that we're getting really, really close to, you know, that time when, when 2B and, and 9S get separated. And I'm really curious what's going to happen when we do that. Like, what exactly is going to happen once 9S gets crucified from a gameplay perspective? I don't, I don't see myself being able to do a whole lot in that instance, so... Are we just going to get ourselves some, like, some major cutscenes... I'm curious about his perspective of the events, and then also his healing, and then his return. All of that. A lot, this is all very interesting to me. Hup. Hup. All right. So then we'll just have ourselves one more I'm little talk. You wish to speak with me personally. Whatever is the matter. It'll be faster if you just take a look at this record. Get your data transferred, yo. I see. Information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. So useful. All right, thanks. Yeah, there we go. Sharp and head back to the resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. That we most certainly should. Uh, I guess. Then I'll just go ahead and. Jump ahead to when something interesting happens, I think? Yeah. I don't remember exactly when that'll happen, though. So, that's that, that's why I'm so uncertain. I bet it was fun to shop back when you had so many choices. We don't need such things. Don't be so sure about that. Once we eradicate the machine life forms, us soldiers won't have anything left to do. We'll enter a new age of peace. And when that happens, we should go shopping together. I could buy you, I don't know, a t-shirt maybe? Something that looks good on you. A t-shirt? What, not interested? Hmm, when that day comes, I'm all for it. That's a promise, right? Yep. Aww, that's adorable. Uh, I'm not thinking about to be in a t-shirt, you are. to 2B. The signal from the access point just came back online. Good job. I have some information about that, Commander. Go on. The access point went offline because machine lifeforms were jamming it. Which means they know that facility is one of our network terminals. Yeah, but that's not all. While they knew it was connected to our network, they didn't try to destroy it. It's almost like they were trying to lay a trap. Damn. They're getting smarter by the day. Thank you. I'll be sure to share this with the Council of Humanity on the moon. Understood. Was that something that I did before? That doesn't sound like information I've heard. I'm not entirely sure what that was about, but, um, happy to help. I'm not even sure when I did what I... Okay, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not here to ask questions. No. I'm heading over to fight the big ol' super machine whale again. And it appears I found another, I don't know, vignette? Little, little 9S story time again? Is that what we're doing? What are we loading ourselves into here? Why must we read all these books, brother? Oh, them. Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. 
But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. <sighs> I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. I was going to ask about that. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something? I was going to ask that! Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Well, um, all right then. Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right, but only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm going to try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard. You do that. <laughs> yeah, all right. You go ahead and do that, weirdo. Although you should be proud of the name Eve. I know of a part organic, part mechanical being by that name that is, <laughs> that is truly worthy of all the respect. And I will not have you slander her name. I'll tell you that much. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and, and fight that whale until we reach the point of divergence. This is gonna be where things get interesting, I think. I want to see how things are different. There's another of those machines. I suppose it's going to attack me, right? This machine type purposely seeks out androids in order to enact... Oh, wait. It should be dispatched immediately. Got it. So it's the... It's the angry revenge robot for a, a third time, I think. Okay, hang on. This is different. This is different. This is different. Yeah, they are... They are very upset, and they are bouncing around all over the dang place. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was going to go and fight a big old whale, but if you're going to go ahead and cause some problems for me, I guess I'm going to have to start hacking you into your brain. Terribly sorry about that, except not really. You, I, I never asked to fight you. The fact that you're so obsessed about it is very confusing to me. All right, yep, you just keep on acting like a strange little bullet bot, all right? I don't think you're any more durable than the last two I fought, though, so that's unfortunate. Uh, where did it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I guess it blew up. Interesting. Uh, now I guess I have to fight your pal over here? All right, sure. I don't claim to understand the minds of the robots. I know that I simply have to do battle with them, and so I shall. Uh, oh, why does the camera sometimes do that? All right, could you... 2B, could you finish it off? Come on, you're more than strong enough. I know you are. There we are. All right, anything of note to be said about that? Or are we just moseying along then? Weird. The bedrock here was bombed out Weird, the last two times I had to Looks fight like those things, it made much more of a bigger result. deal about it. Huh, all right, well, whatever. To the whale! Alrighty, time to get ourselves involved with all this mess. Let's go! Try to remember the fact that I have missiles now, or I've had missiles for basically this entire time. I just, you know, the, the shooter segments are so infrequently done that it's not exactly the easiest to remember sometimes. Anywho... I do not like when some of the enemies manage to escape. That is that that is that is always not ideal. Oh. And Gundam mode. Let's go. Also, I'm still able to heal from shooting things, I think. Yeah, I think I think that is what's going on. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh. And you try to shoot me with lasers, do you? I don't flip and think so. You're done gonna get blowed up before you even get the chance to try. Which is always fun. Imagine being a robot designed for a very specific purpose and then getting blown up out of the sky before you get a chance to even attempt your job. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter too much to them what with the whole being destroyed, so they can't even really dwell on the fact that they were never able to fulfill their singular purpose in existence. But I am aware of it, and it still makes me feel a little weird. 
Ooh. Wow, there are a lot of y'alls. A whole lot of robots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's all settle down. A couple of them got away. Unfortunate. I know that we are going to split up pretty soon. And I demand further answers, dang it. Yep, I remember this. Attention, Shoot wildly! Uh. Requesting support from any friendly units in range. Working on it. We've come under heavy fire from the enemy. Noticed. Our escort ship has taken damage and is unable to engage. Unfortunate. We're currently resisting with all remaining support fighters, but we can't hold them off for long. You're doing your best. I repeat, this is Carrier Blue Ridge 2. I hear you. We need immediate backup from any available Android forces. Currently doing that. Frankly, it's a little bit rude that you're not acknowledging the fact that I'm doing my best over here for you guys. I mean, come on now. I'm already blown. Look at all the dudes I've already blown up. That's probably mildly helpful, at least already right there. So come on now. Now bring on the big old honking whale, why don't you? Bring it on! Because 2B primarily fought that, so... Are we going to keep on doing that, or what, what are we going to do? What are we gonna do? I'm picking up a large scale enemy inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. Which is to say, it is right here, right now. What you gonna do about it? Shoot at it with missiles and stuff, probably. Prepare yourself, you nerds! That was interesting. What was that? All right, well, it doesn't matter. This fight is already basically over. God damn. This thing is made out of friggin' tissue paper. Goliath Flyer sucks. Enemy aerial unit destroyed. Sure has been. Back to area ah. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? Nay. What on? If it's that big, we should be able to see it. It's an Aquatorian one. And that's not even a word. Let's jump! Agro will! Well, that's new. <laughs> Even got ominous organ music playing in the background. That's how you know things are serious. Is that a machine? It sure is. And yet, it still sends off these little dudes at for us, for some reason. Like, they're not able to do a whole lot. What's even the point of mindlessly throwing them to their deaths? We don't have a set kill limit. We're gonna keep going. Meh. Crap. It's blocking close-range attacks with EMP blast. Rude. We've gotta find another way to damage it. And so we shall... We. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostile. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. Alrighty. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Again, once a say what? Destroy the generator. Super duper blatantly obvious. Really did not need tactical analysis to be able to figure that one out. Shoot the glowing bits has been a time-honored tradition in video games since time immemorial. It's like, yeah, that's that's just kind of how the way it's always been. If an enemy has something shiny on them, you shoot it, you punch it, you stab it, whatever. Point is, it's probably a weak point, or at the very bare minimum, something important. Enemy data obtained from command. Go ahead. The day a video game actually conceals a weak point and makes it look like something super mundane and not important when it actually is, is the day we are all truly doomed. Well, then it's a good thing we're gonna blow it up. Gonna blow up a whole whale. There we are. I do appreciate all of the free EXP that blowing these things up gets me, at the very least. Kind of wish these shooter segments went on for longer. If I can honestly think of, like, a good, I don't know, beginner 
shoot 'em up game, I might actually consider playing it for the channel. I don't want anything too insanely difficult. I need, I need to find a nice little middle ground or something. Ooh, wait, are you saying I can? I, well, I mean, I didn't even think that maybe I could hack it. So I'm kind of curious as to why you would even put the hacking button there if it didn't serve a purpose. How oh, very strange. Regardless, I am definitely blowing these things up a hell of a lot faster than I did before. Must be my higher stats. I am over like 20 levels higher than I was when I fought this thing as 2B, so it makes sense. And just like that, victory! No more EMP for you. Confirmed elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. And incoming no cell in three, two, one. Womp. Unfortunate. Oh, come on! It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? Sure does. What good whale doesn't? I mean, really, let's be honest with ourselves. It's what whales do. <laughs> Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. Woo! I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Nice to meet you. Don't ya. worry, we'll take it from here. All right, we're gonna go do other more important things. Two B, let's leave this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. He has an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. All right, now things are changing. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim. All right. Do I help aim by? Hacking? Is that what I do? Or, yes, that is what I do. All right, I'm gonna help you aim. Meet. But you're the one who has to actually make the shot, right? So like I, I'm not gonna miss. Why did the Why did the camera swing this back? This thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. Two B. Let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh right. Shoot it in That's the right. gullet. Lay down some fire in its stupid mess. Its stupid face. Shoot it right in its big old stupid head face. Let's go. La bush. There you go. See, she has much better aim when I'm not controlling her. Also, she only had to shoot it once. I had to shoot it like four times. That doesn't seem fair. Angie. It has assumed its true form. Tis not whale, is wiggle worm. With EMP powers. To me. Bubble shield I always had. We gotta bail, 2B. This is bad. Thank you. That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the android, but it wound up going out of control. I was part of the machine's network when it happened, so I remember it. The moment it reached land, it went berserk and began attacking everything in sight. It was cool, but depressing. I still think it's weird that it took like hey, multiple me. centuries to figure that out. Idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, to be. This is gonna work. All right. Now, what am I gonna do? Probably hack some stuff if I'm being honest. What's the plan here, 9S? Whoop. To be. I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore, but I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. Awesome. Shooting things! Uh. Come on, come on. Just keep on getting all my HP back. What a lovely ability that truly is. 
I am looking for missiles currently. Where are you keeping them? Where are you keeping all of your missiles? Hey, there you go. I have leveled up so much more as 9S than I would have thought I would have. It's pretty awesome, honestly. If I ever get a chance to play as 2B again, I'll enjoy going to the Coliseum. It's just more interesting than doing it as 9S. He can do the desert ones. Those, those will be his. There you are. Whoa. You trying. You trying. I guess the jet form makes you move faster, but I definitely prefer the mobility and the ability to aim in any direction that the all-terrain mode thingy provides. Gotta be real. Gotta be real. I don't think so. None of that. All right, that one got away. Most unfortunate. Spray and pray! Aha! You thought! But you were incorrect. My spray and pray technique always works. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. You've got lasers for dazers. Come on. Just get yourself all dead. There we go. That worked out well. All right, now where are the missiles? Oh, there they are. Damn. Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. Launch ability confirmed. Fire. Neat. I didn't even actually have to do anything. He just did it on his own. Shouldn't he have gotten, maybe gotten uh, confirmation from 2B first? Uh oh. Alert. Obstacle ahead. A collision at this speed is not recommended. Well aware, thank you. Uh, alright. I'm aiming for its mouth. Blah, 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 blah. Take your medicine, nerd! <laughs> and now this. S signal lost. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. Frantic typing noises. 2B. 9S. Don't die on me. Why is the bunker in black and white? The child held sway over enormous strength. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! Mother, mother, mother. But his voice never reached his mother. Wow. Making me feel empathy towards the gigantic wiggle worm robot. Whoa. This is tactical support unit pod 042 assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between Pod 042 and Pod 153. Analysis. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange. Is this... This look... Are the pods flirting? 